Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are very well. Um, I am just starting off my vlog again this week. I hope you're enjoying the more vlogs. Little and often, this is what we're trying for. But I thought I'd show you my outfit. It's Monday morning, well, it's definitely afternoon now, but in my head it's still the morning because you know I'm a nocturnal person. <laughs> so I get up late, but I work late, so it's okay. That's what I keep telling myself. So. Today I have a, a few gift cards for a few, not club, yeah, I'd say collaborations, I think we have to say that now, but I just, I'm working with a few brands on gifting, um, so hashtag gifted. I'm gonna go to Westfields to pick up the items. It's a really perk of the job. There's definitely a lot of hard work that goes in after the shopping bit, but the initial shopping bit is great. And then there's a lot of hours that goes into it afterwards, but, Packs of the job, I'm going off to, I want to head up the big Marks and Spencers there because it was really good last time I went. I'm going to Westfield Shepherd's Bush for those of you that live in London. For those of you that don't, there's two massive malls, like American type malls in London. Both Westfields, one's east, one's west. And because I live West London, I'm going to the Shepherd's Bush one. I'm, I'm rambling, I just kind of wanted to show you my outfit. I have on this chunky, it's like a dupe of the mum's handmade cardigans, but it's from Chicwish. Um, Chicwish is kind of like a sheen kind of store, but I just, I love the vibe. Let me show you in the mirror. So this is the outfit today. I am just obsessed with this fedora at the moment. Basically because I don't have to like do my hair. I just shove a hat on. It's like four day, four day unwashed hair, it's great. Um, snuggly cardigan and I'm just loving this scarf from the H&M bag. You would have seen this outfit kind of on um, my Instagram, but I've kind of chic it up with a, with a hat and I'm just gonna whack a scarf around. I realized that I definitely vlogged saying how I was going to Westfields and then I just didn't vlog, but I was on a very like dedicated mission to get the best stuff from I got some stuff from Marks and Spencers. Marks and Spencers bags at the moment are so good. Really good. Shall I show you a sneak peek? As always, you guys are my faves, so I might show you a sneak peek. One second. Right. Okay, let me get naked for you. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Not today. Right. Okay, I definitely picked up a Nando's for one. My specialty, if you want to know my Nando's order, I get red pepper dip hummus. Um, oh my god. Sorry, this just completely distracted me. I'm a sucker for Yorkies. Absolutely love them, especially the teeny ones. And I follow this guy on Instagram, have done for years and years and years. He just popped up. Look at that. That's a goals right there. I want a, I want a boyfriend who will carry my Yorkie on his back. In a brooks <laughs> in a baby car. <laughs> Is he out there though? Is he? Anyway. Oh, I got asked out on a date today to the Royal Opera House and a three course meal. I'm just not one that gets like um I'm not one that gets um won over by stuff like that. As much as I'd love to go to the opera. I just thought that was a bit exciting. Right. I'm not going by the way. <laughs> right, let's have a look at Marks and Spencers. I am gonna do this in a haul, so I might not show you everything. The sunglasses were on point though. Look at these chains, they're like a gold. You can see what you're resting on. You are on top of um, Vivian Westwood, get a life book. <laughs> okay, comes in a fancy little case as well. Love that, love that little, what's, <laughs> what they did there, okay. And then we had these, which will come in all different shades. There was like pinky t shades, orangey t shades, but I got like um, a lilac shade. <laughs> I really like that. I get so excited over accessories. It's quite sad. And then there was this big bag, tote bag, a snake print. Love that. Ooh, what else do I want to show you a sneak peek of? There's lots of cream. I literally tried on a million of cream jumpers just to get the best one. But this is all we're going to show you. There's two bags. Sneaky peek. And then we've got a little bit of H&M. Loving, loving these vibes at the moment. Look how sick this looks. With like, it's like that Victorian, the Victorian vibes. With the belt round. Possibly this hat, because you know, I'm obsessed. And yeah, if you want to know Menando's order. Definitely got some bread some pita bread i get a chi chicken cheese wrap with extra chi chi oh, 
been a long day. Chicken wrap, extra cheese, extra spicy. Um, I like it hot, what can I say? Right, I'm gonna take my makeup off and go to bed. No, I'm gonna, gonna finish editing this goddamn podcast. If anyone wants to start a podcast, it takes so long. <laughs> so long. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also loving Dynasty on Netflix. I'm a little bit addicted, so probably watch that too. Although I'm very sad. Oh no, I'd spoil it if um, I mentioned it, wouldn't I? I'm very sad at the end of series one that that happened. And the fashion on Dynasty as well is just so good. That's what any show that incorporates amazing fashion and like designers and stuff in on the on the characters i love 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 so if you haven't watched dynasty just watch it for the fashion sense so good right adios amigos i'll see you tomorrow tomorrow's a filming day actually so i might not pick up my camera because we are dedicated to the to the youtube channel tomorrow but um wednesday's jam packed so maybe i'll pick it back up on wednesday but um yeah i'll see you in two seconds for you but a day for me probably good morning i'm not even gonna pretend that the flat is tidy because today is shoot day and everything goes like vomit shoes clothes everywhere but i've turned the camera on i don't know why but my hair feels really diff i know it doesn't look good <laughs> my hair is really bad because uh long story um but it seems to have grown really quick all of a sudden. Does this happen to anybody else? I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I turned the camera on because I wanted to show you kind of the rail that I'm working with today. So if you watch my channel for a while, you know that I take hauls very seriously. Like um, a lot of work goes into them. Like styling for me is like what I love to do. And I love to take things I love to take things and make whole outfits so I think that's why my channel is a little bit different from other people's because I don't just show you one item because I when I was younger I used to buy one item and think I don't have a bag or I, I don't know what to pair with this so I got into the habit of buying an outfit because I got much more wear out of it and like yeah so if you haven't watched my whole videos, go watch them. But I turned this camera on because I wanted to show you the rail that's in front of me because it is looking so good. Such good pieces. I've really worked on my spring fashion and I hope it shows. So I've just paired it off into little sections so you guys can get a little sneak peek here. So this is a bit of Marks and Spencers and then this is beautiful. This is from River Island. It's like a trench. This is from Marks and Spencers too. I tried on a million like knits in Marks and Spencers to get the perfect knit because they every so often do the it knit that you need to have. This you've probably seen in last week's vlog. This is gorgeous. But yeah, anyway, this is like a cream and blue section. And then we have like a very spring clogo kind of vibe section. So each haul is like a different theme. This is like city chic. This is like country s clogo. And this is like I'm on a yacht. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just about to do my hair and put my makeup on because I'm looking as someone. I have a hate forum on the internet. <laughs> How does this happen? Someone said I look like Lord Voldemort. <laughs> Harry, I'm coming for you. <laughs> what is wrong with people? So, massive difference. <laughs> I have my makeup on now, but I just wanted to t show you this palette again. I am obsessed. I'm going to bring you in because you can. I can't, find it really hard to talk about my eyes. But let's do a really close up. Mm. If you can see my eyes, like the eyeshadow, I'm obsessed. I have. It's new. What I've been doing. This is really close. <laughs> <laughs> but you can if you can see the orange and the gold I'm just obsessed with this palette it's so the gold is you can see what I've been using the silver one two things in and the gold one in the middle look at the state of my hands got black everywhere but also the like r orangey bits up to it is the pixie palette and I'll leave that link down below because I think that's a new one I'm just obsessed with the like the orangey gold hues the peachy like blusher which is from the this palette so this is the cheeks i mentioned this in my last vlog and then we have as always i just always go back to it the pixie matte liquid lip on my lips 
really enjoying this kind of like peachy spring tones at the moment. So yeah, I am ready to film. This is the setup behind me in case you ever wondered um, what filming is like in my flat. I am really appreciating how small this flat is as like my YouTube channel and my Instagram has grown. So has like the amount of work and like obviously the clo clothes and the shoe storage situation. Um, I think I need a bigger house but I just cannot be bothered um, moving and I really like this flat now that they evicted my neighbour underneath so yeah I really love this flat I love the location I love like it was my first London flat on my own like this is the first place I've lived alone and it has been blissful I think this is the happiest I've been in my whole entire life the most content I've been just like living in this flat so I'd find it really hard to leave, but I think I do need somewhere slightly bigger, like maybe another room to store all my shoes so they're not in the living room. Um, a house in the countryside would be lovely, but um, somewhere close to London, but I'm not there yet. I need to probably find my husband first, but um, struggles with that one. <laughs> As I keep telling my mother, I'm working on it, all right? Anyway, let's get filming, let's get cracking on. I'm about to film all this stuff. It actually takes hours to, to try on all these clothes. People think YouTube's easy. It will take me till about two o'clock in the morning, I reckon. It's the most miserable day today. It's like gray and cloudy outside, which is good because I'm indoors all day and I'm about to shut the blinds to film. Um, but yeah, miserable. Where did this, I thought summer was on its way. It felt like spring summer last week and now it's like torrential rain. I'm really British, aren't I? Why do British people always talk about the rain? Hi guys, running late, still flat a mess, but kind of wanted to show you this coat, it's epic. Yes, River Island, Kirk Geiger boots, mess still from yesterday, but I'm late, so we've got to go. Morning guys, I'm going to get a better look at my outfit here, but I'm just off to the Haymarket Hotel this morning. I'm in this part of London, which looks lovely. We're approximately 10 minutes late. time for us, some new direction um, for Fashion at Studio. Hi guys, I am just at the Haymarket Hotel. Look, it's finished, so it did look a lot more pretty before, but look how amazing the setup is. Lovely flowers, Chandelier, do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Haymarket Hotel. We're here for, I can't really talk, <laughs> I really talk too much. We're here to look at collection it's an online brand it's called studio it was a catalog and now it's like an online brand so you would have seen snippets from the advert which i just showed you but i'm gonna take a sneak peek of their collection i can't see you guys whatsoever but i'm just walking through Covent garden and i forget how beautiful london is when it's sunny look around me let's go Covent garden got invited for a day which i am not gonna go on but i got invited to take to the Royal Opera House which is in front of me which would be lovely if I was interested but it's Covent Garden has like loads of themes and it's currently spring Covent Garden so pretty I love all the little boutique shops in Covent Garden so cute got Chanel so I'm actually in Covent Garden for a skin clinic with number 7 and they have like a little workshop thing going on but it's outside and it's a little bit nippy so I'm not entirely sure how long I'm gonna stay but um I thought I'd show you when the money's lovely these are free that's what we put up okay cool am I okay to sit down oh of course okay perfect guys look at this decor loving this kind of what my bathroom looks so I'm just stopping by a place called brow doors they do brows but I'm gonna get a lash lift love a lash lift haven't had one in a while um so yeah I'll show you the salon where I'm getting it done and stuff in there so guys, I'm just in Brow Horse. Is that how I pronounce it? Brow House. Bra oh! <laughs> I was being all posh Brow Horse. So we're gonna do a lash lift today. So I will show you the after. Probably looking like death because they'll take off all my concealer. 
Okay, okay I'll see you in an hour. I've never actually seen what it looks like when I've had it done. So eyelashes are done. I don't know if you can see. So they've just wiped all my makeup off from my eyes. So I probably look 100 years old. Guys, I just had the weirdest thing just happen on oh, my face. <laughs> I'm so, I literally, all my vlogs look like on. So I'm sat here editing at my computer. Sorry, look, I just got up. And the door, doorbell went. And then they were knocking like really loudly. But I just, the postman had just been. So I was like, that's really weird. Open the door to like, I'm not joking, the most beastly man that I have ever seen. He was like, you know those like dolls that you get that are like action man, like Wolverine. He had no ear, he was like shaved head, tattoos. And he was like, just to let you know, got a bullet vest on. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> and it's got camera on. And sure enough, bullet vest, camera on. I was like, uh, okay. I was like, can I help you? He's like, does so-and-so live here? And I was like, no, but his letters get delivered here like for about a year now which is usual when you live in rented properties in london because the turnover of tenants is so fast that usually past letters come from past tenants so it didn't really raise an issue with me um but this isn't the first time something like this has happened but not as scary as this man and um he was like basically this man that's been getting sent using this address is in a lot of trouble with the police i'm presuming um something to do with i probably shouldn't say but um he was like can you confirm that you live here i was like i live here <laughs> i mean <here." laughs> oh that was the weirdest experience i had to go get my um like bills and stuff and prove that i live here but that was really really weird I mean, like, if you're going to put me on camera, at least give me a heads up so I can put a lash on or something. <laughs> uh, not looking, not feeling myself. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that story because that was really f***ing weird. I live in Chelsea. This is not meant to happen. Morning. <clears throat> Morning, guys. I have just woken up. I want to make this a thing where I show you the hairstyle that I wake up with. So this is in a little bun, but then we have this like little tail, which is lovely. Look at that. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know if you can see my lash lift is slight. You can need to sit slightly, but um, you'll be able to see it more when I put my makeup on and stuff later. But I just wanted to catch up with you guys. Let me sit on Jeff. Hang on. My flat is an absolute mess. I'm not going to lie. So if you see it, absolute bomb site behind me that is why so i filmed was it on wednesday i think no what tuesday i had a shoot day and um and then wednesday i was out all day and then third yesterday i had to edit like all day and i actually was so stressed out i wanted to throw my macbook out the window um so i haven't had time to really tidy it so i definitely have to tidy it today this is on the agenda i'm gonna go for a deep clean i really enjoy cleaning does anyone else get like this like i enjoy it i put some music on and like i really go for it <laughs> <laughs> on the agenda today I'm gonna tidy I'm gonna edit another vlog really really quickly and then I'm gonna head to my favorite place again <laughs> Westfields it is so dangerous that is like literally five minutes down the road so dangerous and then I'm gonna try and get some more of the podcast done a little bit later on and I I've just put a face on wanted to show you my eyelashes they just give it like that little extra lift so really happy with that it was from a place called brow house um there's one in chelsea holborn covent garden islington so i'll link them details down below i just had a lash lift and a lash tint so yeah this is the makeup look that i've gone for today we have pixie lip with a clinique lip like mask over the top because get really dried lips um yeah same as last time the palette the mark jacobs palette on my eyes i know you guys will ask so i thought i'd tell you um i wanted to show you my outfit so this is what i have on today i've just tried on a load of clothes even though i just tidied my flat so this is a marks and spencers knit and then i have some river island cream jeans which have this lovely buckle detailing which i really like brown kurt geiger boots that i got in the sale they were 19 pounds which is insane and i'm kind of loving this he the the height of the where they come up to at the moment and it just reminds me of the celine boots on the catwalk and then we have a toe and then the the coat, which is the main thing, is from River Island, and I love it. Because I don't know if you can see, but it's such good, 
thick quality material and it looks well I think it looks really expensive so yeah I just wanted to show you the outfit and then I have some sunglasses on my head because I cannot bear to have my hair down without sunglasses on my head so yeah final outfit let's go do some shopping I'll try and talk to you in Westfield this time actually because I know like I'm gonna do some work in a coffee shop go for a mooch pick up some stuff and yeah just have one of my favorite days to be honest hi guys it's that time again where I show you I didn't film anything in Westfield, did I? I think it's when I get a load of bags to lift the camera with bags. It's like a workout that you've never imagined. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you a few of the little bits that I got. Oh, sneak peek, because you guys that watch my vlogs show my face, so you get a sneak peek before anyone else. Got some bread, got some cashew nuts. <laughs> Definitely just some salmon. Me too. Okay. Oh, some mayo as well. Yeah. That's me too. Um, sneaky peek. So I didn't buy anything except from River Island and Zara. Okay. Okay, first sneak peek. I picked up this bad boy from River Island. Look how many trends it has. It's got the snake print. We've got the bamboo thing some brown brown tans creams all the trends going on in one i just thought that was a fab like kitchen sink bag for like spring like the light colors really like that um what else did we get oh another little cutie bag from again river island river island bags were on form how cute is that little chain i thought it was like very designer-esque kind of looking And then I got I got two pairs of jeans from Zara. Um, I like these. I call them my shooting jeans because I never have to wash them. I know that sounds gross, but I just wear them to shooting, so I don't actually wear them out. And I, I say that because of the teeny tiniest size, but they're stretchy. So when I so when I used to shoot jeans, always, I used to just pick up the jeans whatever was in my thing and sometimes they looked a bit baggy but these are the shooting jeans and they're tiny and when I put them on they're like so they look really good on camera and I sometimes wear them on a night out because after a few drinks I can't feel like how much the waistband is digging into my stomach <laughs> but maybe it looks good and then I got it got the same jeans in the denim as well um <laughs> I already, I already have these, I don't know if you've noticed in my videos, so, or similar ones, um, but I got foundation on them and I went in with like the little dishcloth, which happened to have bleach on, so there was like a white mark on them and they were my favourite jeans and you can see this like white tinge in all my videos. Um, yeah, what not to do. I even tried to put them in the washing machine with dye, black dye, and then the black dye got everywhere. I'm not a domestic goddess. Um, and then this blazer, River Iron Tailoring, so good. This blazer, it looks a bit naff off, but on it looks gorgeous. It has these beautiful buttons. And I thought over an all white outfit, that would look amazing. I'm on the hunt, and I think I found them, but I'm on the hunt for some white boots, like white ankle boots, white over the knee boots. And it's really hard because in England it's not warm like it's still free like today is freezing still but like all the outfits are like white colors cream creams whites floros and you want to dress all spring like but then it's like footwear and I was really thinking about what footwear did I want to go with all these things and I do want a pair of like white boots over the knee boots knee high boots ankle boots and i think i found some good ones so i can put some toasty socks on and some boots because i am nowhere near ready to get me tootsies out yet it's a bit nippy <laughs> right i am gonna make some tea i've got a busy day tomorrow i'm shooting and then we're going out going out out and ironically i don't have anything to wear <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm sure I'll muster something up because I never really go out like yeah I don't really go out so my idea of like a night out would be like a meal with my friends or, like the cinema or like actually don't even go to the cinema or like just wine and food so to go to like a bar is not really something that I do very often just because during the week I'm at a lot of events sipping champagne so at the weekend the last thing I feel like doing is going and sipping more champagne 
um, so I don't tend to go out, out, but tomorrow me and Georgia, we're going out with, um, it's the twins birthday. You've seen them before, they're in my vlogs a lot. So we are going down the road to like a pub bar thing. It's called the Prince of London where we spent New Year, which is actually really good. But um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm going to wear. Can't even bother thinking about it. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you and see you in the morning. Okay, you thought you got rid of me, but I'm back. I might wear this top tomorrow night, although it's slightly too big for me. Um, and I thought I might wear like a bright red lip with it and make sure like I don't kiss any boys. Not that that's ever likely. I wonder which one. So this is Christian Louboutin. We've got a load of Pixie and then we've got a L'Oreal one. Oh no, Maybelline. I wonder which one's the nearest colour to it. Ooh, this is a tricky one. Maybe that one. So this one, or this one, what do we think? I don't know if this is a matte liquid lip, because def oh no, that's a lip gloss. Red lip, that I don't think would be good. I know this works, so this is the one I use. Whoa. Okay, this could get messy. <laughs> what do I look like? Wow, uh, you do see me in some states on this channel. Right, definitely should probably put lip liner on before this. I can't even see when my lips finish and end. Okay, is this a good vibe or do I look a little bit like Mrs. Robinson kind of vibes? Um, ooh, that's dry already. Kind of like this colour lipstick though. Hmm, I will uh, assess the situation. But this is um, Pixie by Petra Shade Real Red. <laughs> See what they did there. I wonder what this is. Maybe this is like lip gloss. I'm going to try this over the top just to test. Uh, yeah. That is a lip gloss. <laughs> okay, I've got a little bit carried away now. <laughs> I might try one of these. Maybe this one. Go for a really dark lip. Would this really scare the boys away? I think it might. Ooh. Oh my god, we can test this. And if this is tomorrow night, if this is still on, by the end of the night, it's not sticking because I put the gloss on. Right, I'm very wear. I put white on, <laughs> which I'm planning to wear tomorrow. This top, right? I've worn it loads. You've probably seen it on my channel. But it's always. Oh, no wonder it doesn't look like a different colour. <laughs> I'm tired. Right, third time looking. Okay. It looks red on here, but like deep red in real life. This is really wonky. Possibly the wonkiest lipstick I've ever put on. What do we think of this colour? It's a bit darker. Maybe we go even darker. Hmm. This is like a brown though. Oh. No. No. <laughs> No. No, no. Okay. We shall see.